Jerry of the Circus. Now for Jerry of the Circus. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. Randall is able to bring you lucky youngsters a real live jungle animal. Ooh. Ooh. Our world famous lion tamer, Jason, will show you what can be done with a cub lion fresh from the African jungle. <laughs> Introducing Jason. The man who masters the king of the jungle. Oh, a real lion. Look, yeah. it's a big lion. Look, a real life cub. Look, it's just like a big kitten. How old is it, Jerry Dugan? A year old? Oh, no, he's only a few months. They're big when they're a year old. What's its name? Fuzzy. Hey, watch. Jason's starting his tricks. <gasps> he made me jump right over that stick. Oh, that's nothing. Fuzzy can leap higher than that. He's a good jumper. I helped train him. You did? Sure. Well, must have been fun. It sure was. Like playing with a house cat, except Fuzzy's claws are sharper. Did you get scratched? My dog did. Poor thing. Oh, well, Fuzzy didn't do it on purpose, though. They were playing, but, well, they both grabbed for the meat. Meat? Sure. That's how you train cubs. They're given a piece of meat when they do the trick right. Really? So that's how wild animals learned. Well, I was afraid that they got whipped or punished. Years ago, they used to be cruel, but nowadays the trainers reward the animals when they're right. And ignore them when they're wrong. Oh. It takes patience to keep at them until they do the right thing. wonder why grown-ups don't work that way with us. Then we'd never get punished. <laughs> yeah, but of course, we're a little different. One thing, lions can't talk back. <laughs> That's it. Well, guess I'd better meet the rest of the kids. Thanks for talking to me. It's exciting meeting someone your own age who, who's really with a circus. Guess you're the luckiest boy in the world. I think so. Well, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Well, boys and girls, how's everyone today? Gee, there's the major. Oh, Major Mike. <laughs> Hello there, Jerry. Didn't know I was an actor, huh? Well, no. We all got a big kick out of your doll act. You ought to be a clown. I've often thought about it, but... Of <laughs> course, I wouldn't want to put all the other clowns out of business. <laughs> you were sure funny. Sure, I guess I know what the children like. All right, all right. Hello there, kids. Hello, Mike. Oh, isn't he... Darling. You see, Jerry, what they think of me? I certainly do. Yes, sorry. I guess that Italian clown and his monkey will have to come go some to beat me. Major, <laughs> Major, Mike, come over and talk to us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you see, they can hardly wait to talk to me. Now, Jerry, don't look so worried. You won't have to buy the shoes. Oh, no, of course not. I was just thinking of poor Beppo. Jerry? Don't forget, you promised to talk to me again before you go. You bet I won't. And now, girls and boys, comes a very special act. So keep your eyes and ears open. A couple of old favorites in entirely new roles. Introducing Beppo the Clown and his almost human monkey, Jacko. <laughs> Poor Beppo, I... I hope he's got a good stunt. Are you talking to yourself, Jerry Dugan? <laughs> Guess I was. Say, I, I think I'll sit down with you now while this act's going on. I, I don't want to miss it. Neither do I. I like Beppo and Jacko. Look at that monkey riding in on that organ grinder. He looks so important. 
Like a little king or something. <laughs> yeah. See, what's Bumps doing with all those balloons? Is Bumps the name of that clown who's doing all the announcing? Uh, yeah. You haven't seen him do his act yet, have you? No. <laughs> He's keen. My dog, Greggs, works with him. He does? Sure. They got a swell act. Just you wait till you see him. But there's Beppo trying to get Jacko to do his tricks, and Bumps is coming by with all those balloons. Hey, that's funny. Everyone is watching Bumps instead of the monkey. Yeah. Even Jacko is watching him. Look at him beg for one of those balloons. Oh, he's swell. Listen to Beppo. Go away. No buy the balloon. No, no, this is his my act. Take it out. Oh, please, miss. See how the little fella begs. Oh, have a kind heart. Buy him a balloon. Just one balloon. No, no, no. Do what the act Jacko. Turn the summer so tonight for the little red ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you see, you are a cruel master. Buy the balloons for the little monkey, and then he'll do his act night. Go. Hey, Jacko? Go away, Mr. Clown. This the shit of my act. Well, yes. not Please. until you buy my balloons, and then I'll go. Well, all right, all right. Uh, you rob a poor Italian organ grinder. But for my little friend, Jacko, I buy the balloons. All of the balloons. He's going to buy them all. <laughs> Say, this is something new. I I've never seen Beppo do this before. He look, he, he's put all the balloons into the hands of the Jocko. No, 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 go. Get out. Uh, you Jocko and I. Oh, we got Say, those balloons are lifting Jocko up into the air. He's being carried away by the balloons. Jerry, Jerry, look. The monkey's going up in the air. The balloons are carrying him away. Come back. Uh, the Jocko, come back at the back. Oh, he, he's flying right over our heads. The wind is carrying him this way. Hang on, Jocko. Don't fall. Don't let go of those balloons. Come back, Jacko. Me about Pina, my monkey. Come back. Stop the play. Gee, I believe it's part of the act. They fooled me. I thought it was an accident. See, Beppo's holding a string so Jacko can't go any further away. Say, this is a swell act. Oh, gee, look. Jacko's letting some of the balloons loose. Goody, I got a balloon. Me too, I got one. Gee, I wish I could get one of them. I can't move in this bed. Here comes one. I'll get it for you. There you are. For me? Oh, say thanks. Oh, that's nothing. I'm sure Jack would want you to have one, too. Say, if he lets go many balloons, nothing will hold him up there, and he'll fall. Yeah, but Beppo's thought of that. See, he, he's pulling in the string now. But there's only a few balloons left. Yeah, but Jacko's pretty close to the ground. Beppo's pulling him back to the organ. Oh, gee. <laughs> I don't know when I've had so much fun. <sighs> Well, at last he's back safe and sound on the organ. Oh, oh you fall back to the you pop. Uh -huh. You lose some of the balloons, and now you come along. And I, I, I play for you, and I find you dance for these people, see? Boy, that was exciting. Thanks ever so much for getting me a balloon. Oh, that was nothing. I think that was the best trick I've ever seen. At first, it looked like an accident when those balloons carried Jacko off. I'm sorry. Um, I gotta go now, children. Oh, please, Mr. Mike. Stay and talk. Don't go. Oh. Please, Major, don't go. Don't sorry, go. but I, I have to see about something. Hey, wait a minute, Major. Where are you going so fast? Ah, you see what Beppo did just now? Tricks. That's what he used. Tricks. He's not satisfied to get by with his own personality, but he has to depend on stunt. Bah! I've got to get out of here, and I've got to think quick. <laughs> well, don't let it worry you, Major Mike. After all, he, he's got to win sometime. Yes, but he's not playing fair. I'll get even with that clown if it takes me the rest of the season. Gee, look at him go. For a midget, he shouldn't get mad. <laughs> he's pretty well known for his temper. But it'll blow over in a few days. Well, what's it all about, anyway? Well, you see, the clown and the midget have had a bet up every year they played this hospital. Yes, but, well, what's that got to do with... But, you see, one thinks he's the best. So each year, they try to do something special so the children will applaud them the most. Oh, I should say Beppo would win this year. I'm afraid that's why the major is so burned up. It's going to cost him the price of a pair of shoes. That was a bet. And he certainly hates to spend his money. Really? Gee, I bet it's fun to be on the inside of things like this. Imagine, if you hadn't come here and talked to me, well, I'd have never known all about, well, oh, everything. Well, don't you forget that you've got to be on your feet next year when we hit this town, so I can take you to the circus. You won't forget. Oh, you bet I won't. I promised, didn't I? And you'll stay for lunch and eat with the performers and everything. Gee, Jerry, you're swell. 
I'll certainly try to do everything the doctors say, so I'll be well enough by then. See, that's my dog's act coming up now. The pump coming in with the clown? Yep, it's a good act. Sorry, but I've got to go help Jason with the line cub of his. I'll try and get back to say goodbye. Hey, let me know what you think of my dog. You bet I will. She's cute. Bye, Jerry. Bye. And now, children, we will let you be the judges as to, to which was the most entertaining, Major Might or Beppo. I will hold my hand over the heads of first Major Might and then Beppo. And you show by your applause which of the two you think was the best. All right. I'm Are you ready? I'm ready and I win, I bet you. That's what you think, Beppo. No. Major Might. And no. Beppo. <laughs> well, you have clearly shown by your applause that Beppo is the winner. <laughs> and better luck next year, Major. <laughs> you got me on a ways, Beppo. I didn't have time to think of something. Never mind the excuses, Major. You just buy me a good pair of shoes. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> Oh, there you are, Jerry. I was just trying to carry this cage alone. I'd about given you up. Gee whiz, I I'm sorry. You know, I got so interested in the show, I forgot the time. It hey, wasn't Beppo funny. Yeah, that was a pretty cute trick. I guess I'll have to work out a balloon stunt for one of my lions. Yeah, it'd sure be exciting. I can imagine a wild animal floating over the heads of the audience. Guess it'd cause a stampede all right. Oh, I don't know. It's not impossible. Ah, oh, quit kidding. You'd think I didn't know anything. Well, grab the handle of that crate and we'll get fuzzy in the bus so we won't hold up things when we're ready to start back to the circus ground. I got it. Say, it, it's kind of heavy. Oh, too heavy? Oh, of course not. Say, Jason, you dropped a letter there. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Say, I forgot all about this. It's a special delivery registered letter for Johnny Bradley. He wasn't around, so I signed for it and forgot to give it to him. Say, that's awful. It might be important. Yeah, it is. It's from the government. Don't let me forget to give it to him at lunch. You bet I won't. I'll bet I know what it is. Yeah, what? I'll bet it's that letter with the reward in it. Five hundred dollars. Good night. Of course, that's probably it, and I almost lost it. Say, Jerry, you'd better give this to Bradley. You'll see him before I will. Uh -huh. 